Hey guys, this is Alex. I've been off the vlog for a little bit taking a digital detox and traveling through California in a camper van. With the summer flat spell on the North Shore and with all the craziness happening in Hawaii right now, COVID-19, coronavirus, two-week lockdown on Oahu, Hurricane Douglas, we need to get preparations going. Hurricane conditions are expected. <laughs> Well, we needed to go. Somewhere. We started doing our research. Even with travel restrictions, there's actually a decent list of places to go. But one country in particular stood out for us. Oh my God. <laughs> Mexico. Packed up and flew south of the border. The goal is to score waves, try out all my epic new surfboards, and film a video part for RS, as well as get a perspective on how the pandemic is affecting the world outside of Hawaii. I learned a ton on this trip, but mostly if you go somewhere with a good crew, anything is fun. <laughs> on the trip, we had Jackson Shepard from Ara Surfboards. We had filmmaker Ben Valand, who I worked with on my previous Nomad series to shoot the RS video campaign. We also had our resident filmer, Michael Veltman, to document the behind the scenes and create the YouTube content you're watching right now. My brother Koa couldn't leave Hawaii, but Travis is on the way to come meet us on the back end of the trip. Meet my new quiver from RS. Five beautiful surfboards made for all types of conditions on offer in Mexico. My goal on this trip is to ride them all and figure out which one is the best. Yeah, we're shooting this little 16 millimeter camera. It's kind of an experiment. I didn't use it a ton. So we pulled up to the first spot for the most incredible sunrise. It was orange and pink. Even though the waves weren't that good, we got some epic shots for our project. Our guide Jaime had some other ideas for waves down the coast. He took us off the beaten track. So we pulled up to this spot and saw the view that we came to Mexico for. Perfect right hand points. So oh, our look pumping, at look at there's a new wide section. We haven't seen that one. There's nobody out but it was important that we warmed up before our surf session. This is the love cap. This is um, one of RS's new models. So uh, four fin, super fast and fun. Five, five, five. Little race car, remember? D bottom all the way through. It's nice and light. It's epoxy. But I like the paint job. That's what does it for me. It's my first time trying it, so we're gonna give it a go and see how it works. Love cap felt really good. It was smooth and flowed well and paddled fast. 
but I felt like once the waves started to get a little steeper, I needed to step it up to a short board. But I was so sore from my travel that I had to come in and stretch. Even though it looked pretty funny, it did the trick. Switched my fins and grabbed my purple board. It ended up working insane. Couldn't get off the thing all day. flowed really well, it had good control, so I could kind of slide it when I wanted to, but it also held like a good carve or a turn. Felt like the board checked all the boxes. After surfing all day, there was only one downside. The beach was littered in trash. Our surf guide Jaime is a local legend. When he sees the trash piling up on the beach, he's the first guy to clean it up. The problem is we are between two rivers, man. Yeah. All the trash of the river just get here. Even if you clean, last time I hit, I went here, I cleaned the beach, and look, again. This is the hardest, the tops. Yeah. Yeah. All the tops and plastic spoons, especially these things, there's a lot of this. We picked up as much trash as we could, and we took it off the beach. Mexico is such a beautiful place, and it was an eye-opening experience to see the trash littered everywhere. My brothers and I obviously really care about the earth, and I'm sure you do too. So my challenge for you today is to use a little less single-use plastics. A lot of plastic in the stomach. Really? Fish with it in its stomach? Yeah. Uh, it's just unfortunate. I think people pick up after themselves, and uh, the world is a gift that we all have, and I just don't know why people just can't pick up their trash. If you see any trash on the beach or on the ground, pick it up. I'm sure you'll feel great about it and you'll leave the place better than it looked before. On the next episode, Alex and the guys jump on a boat to explore inaccessible coastline. Travis arrives and they eat tacos. Travis climbs a palm tree. Alex finds the baby snake. Oh my god. It looks like it just ate something like a little rat. They eat coconuts with hot sauce? Stay tuned. New episodes coming every Tuesday.
Cut it up. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please slide the cursor over and destroy the like button. Click the subscribe button. And you might as well click the bell as well. Just so you don't miss future episodes. Aloha. Okay, alright.